Good day, class. Our topic is negative behavior. Negative behavior. If you look at the topic, the word negative, what does it mean? And the behavior. So negative behavior refers to an act or attitude that is against the norms and value of the society. The heart that is against, that is the attitude that is against the norms and the values of the society. That is what we call negative behavior. Any attitude that is against the laid down rules and regulations is referred to as negative behavior. It also refers to a behavior that is socially unacceptable by the society. You know, in a society, there are some behaviors that are not acceptable in the society. So any behavior, any attitude that is not acceptable in the society or by the society is referred to negative behavior. We have some examples here. Number one, we have examination and practice. There is no school. A school that is that we call a standard school that we practice that we allow their students to engage in examination and practice. If you are engaged in examination and practice, that means there may be factors that may lead to examination and practice. Is it that you don't know the topic or you are not familiar with the topic or you are being encouraged by the school or by the teacher? in order to engage in examination and practice. This examination and practice can come in any form. When you are writing it, it can come before the exam, during the exam, and after the examination. Before the examination, if you want to engage in examination and practice, and in which I know that many students, they are engaged in examination and practice, the one before the examination, if when you are writing in a sheet of paper before you enter the exam hall, you, you have a sheet of paper and you have written the answer to the question, to the expected question in the exam. You have written them in a sheet of paper and you are with that sheet of paper, you have hide it somewhere in your body and you enter the examination, exam, exam, examination hall. That is before. During, when you bring out that paper, or you enter the examination hall with textbook that is during examination. Then after the examination, you think of, okay, let me go and meet the teacher. If that teacher can help me to add more marks to my mark. So examination and practice can come in any form. It may be before, during, and after examination. Another one is dishonesty. Don't forget that another says honesty is the best policy. Now dishonesty, if you are not faithful to what you are doing, you engage in corruption, in bribery, that is dishonesty. Then another, another type of negative behavior, we have causism. This one is common among the students of higher institutions in which they join the courses. If, if, you, if you are a student of higher institution, if care is not taken, if you don't take your stand before you gain admission into such an institution, you may be lured into this courtesy. Then another one is drug trafficking. Drug tra trafficking, the act of taking drugs, of carrying carry hard drugs from one place to another. And this can happen when you carry hard drugs maybe cocaine, marijuana from a particular country to another country. That is drug trafficking. Then we have prostitution, which is another type under negative behavior. Prostitution is the act of engaging in unlawful sexual intercourse. Unlawful, unlawful sexual intercourse with several people for commercial purpose. Don't forget for commercial purpose. When you hear commercial purpose, you want to do that in order for you to get money. That is prostitution. It's a negative behavior. It is not a behavior that the society 
accept. So it is one of the unacceptable behavior in the society. The other one is smuggling. The smuggling, you carry goods from one country to another without passing through the normal process. You know, there is, when you get to the border of a particular country, you want to cross out to another border. Government has made it possible or convenient for people to pay certain amounts before you can cross to another country if you are carrying goods. So smuggling, when you are carrying goods from one country to another without passing through the normal process, then the effect of negative behavior, what are the effects of negative behavior, even on the society or on individual? Number one, high crime rate. That is on society. When you engage in negative behavior, the rate of crime in such a society will be very high. Then another one is inefficiency. You want to engage in negative behavior, maybe at your place of work. You get to your place of work and you put your, your head on the table. You are sleeping without doing what you are expected to do. Then another one is lack of respect for elders. So it's one of the negative behaviors that we have in our society today. The, the youth, they don't have respect for elders again. That is the, the effect of negative behavior. Then another one is breaking down of law and order. From the lack of respect for elders, you are going to break the law and the order of the society. So breaking down of law and order. Then another one is hindrance to development. Negative behavior will lead to we not allow the society to develop. So it will be one of the hindrances to development in the society. So I've discussed the negative behavior, the meaning of negative behavior, and I've told you that negative behavior refers to an act or attitude that is against the norms and values of the society. So any attitude that is against the norms, the values, of the society is referred to as negative behavior. Then it also refers to a, to a behavior that is socially unacceptable by the society. So any attitude, any behavior that the society where you are living, where you are living, front art is called negative behavior. Then we can we have different, we have many types of negative behavior. Stealing is also negative behavior. There is no parent that we allow his or her child to steal. If you steal, even in the class, you know, all the members of that class, they will not accept it. They will not take it easy with that person. So we have told you the examples of negative behavior, that we have examination malpractice, that is one of the negative behavior, then dishonesty, courtesy, drug trafficking, prostitution, smuggling. We still have more. I've told you we have stealing. Even lying is a negative behavior. Then what are the effects of negative behavior? Number one of the effects, we have high crime rates. I've told you the rate of crime in such a society will be very high. Then in every sense, you will not be effective in the society, even when in your, in your place of work, you will not be effective again because of the attitude. And people will not like to relate with you because of your negative attitude. The lack of respect for elders. You will, anybody with negative behavior will not respect elders. Then breaking down of law and order. You will be the person that will be violating the rules and the regulations of the society. Then hindrance to development. It will, the negative behavior behavior will hinder development in such a society. So that is what we, are, we have, dis have discussed, the meaning, the size, and the effect of negative behavior. You can still add more to types of negative behavior. Any behavior that you, you know, that is not acceptable in the society, we call them negative behavior. You can still add more points to the types of negative behavior. Then effect, you can add more effect to negative behavior. The effect of negative behavior on the society, 
This one is on the society. This one on the society and on individual. The lack of respect for Heather on the society, then on individual. Breaking down of law and order on the society. Interest to development on the society. So you can still have more the effect of negative behavior on the society and on individual. Thank you.